Hello everyone, I'm Javier from Toxcat Entertainment in Rochester, New York, and thank you for stopping by. This channel is all about weddings. You'll see videos of parties we rocked, also tips about weddings, trends, and answer all your questions about weddings. Today, in this first video, I'm going to talk about why wedding DJs are so expensive. Why so many price ranges? You know, you're looking online through Google, social media, wedding wire, the not, and you start noticing the huge price range among wedding DJs. Some start at $100 an hour, and others have packages that start at $1,200. Why the price difference? Well, lots of DJs do not price themselves according to value. They fear that by charging too much, couples can't afford them, so they will price themselves in the low end to get the wedding. They want to do your wedding so bad that they think the idea of you spending so much money on other wedding things, music shouldn't be so expensive. They're willing to negotiate the price with you, bringing it down so they can get the event, saving you money. Again, not valuing the amount of work a wedding DJ does. Another reason, they may be new in the business, not much experience as a wedding DJ, or they're likely doing it more as a hobby than a business. Wedding magazines and some wedding social media outlets also are to blame as to why wedding DJ prices are so low. They justify by saying that DJs just play music, which is the furthest thing from the truth. Couples don't know what a wedding DJ does. Couples buy into that reasoning of just playing music, since it's not every day that you buy DJ services, right? You know, I understand. You're on a budget. You're looking for the best deal. But think about this. A wedding is a memory and an emotional investment. Do you know what's the thing most wedding guests remember about your wedding? Even if the food was really bad, the wedding entertainment, the DJ in this case, is the number one thing your guests will remember the most about your wedding. If they had such a great time that their feet hurt the next day from so much dancing, they will tell you how much fun they had and tell others too. Now, if they were bored to death by the music selection of the DJ, the guests will remember that about your wedding, will tell others and tell you about it too. So what should you do when looking for a professional wedding DJ? Well, before starting to look for a wedding DJ, think about what you want to accomplish with the entertainment. I mean, are, your, are you or your guest party people? You know, you love to dance or are they more laid back or don't dance? You know, this is important because just as there are many colors in the spectrum, there are many styles of DJs. You don't want to have a club vibe when you know you or your friends are more of a drinking crowd and no one will be dancing. Having this in mind can give you a better value for your buck. Now, once you figure out the style of professional wedding DJ you are looking for, then you can start your research. Now, just like you don't buy a house without doing some research, the same thing with wedding DJs. You're investing in memories and the DJ is the one that can provide that for you. Check the DJ's website, social media, wedding wire, and the not for reviews. All these things are a good way to start. Check their videos, pictures, and see if that's the vision you have about your wedding. If they don't have any of these things, run for the hills. Now also, you can ask fellow wedding couples about a particular wedding DJ experience. They are the best source for knowing if the DJ is worth the money you're going to invest. Now, keep in mind that professional wedding DJ doesn't just show up at your wedding and play music. Weddings are a production. We're like movie directors, making sure that all parts of the wedding are running on all cylinders. There's a lot of parts that we need to prepare to make sure your wedding runs smoothly. We create a timeline, we create your playlist, we contact and coordinate with all the vendors, making sure that we are on the same page to make your special day again successful. We contact you to know if you're still sane during this highly stressful time of wedding planning. We also make sure our, our equipment works. If it doesn't, we have to buy it. We have to buy insurance so you're not liable if any of our equipment is damaged by your guests or we accidentally damage any part of the venue before, during, or after the wedding. All this takes time and, of course, money. You're paying for all of this. The professional wedding DJ is also the one that controls the flow and tempo of the wedding. Specifically, if you don't hire, if you don't hire a wedding planner or coordinator or the venue doesn't have one. We keep an open line of communication to every question you may have during planning, even if it's not related to music. The professional wedding DJ will know what to do if the wedding goes not according to plan by having a plan B, C, all the way through Z. Yet at the end of the day, the professional wedding DJ should give you peace of mind, knowing that everything will be okay and that you and your guests will have fun without you worrying or stressing out on your wedding day. When interviewing a wedding DJ, 
ask about all of this, or keep an ear open during your consultation. Listen to the DJ if it mentions all of this work as part of their service. It's very important. The professional wedding DJ should have your wishes and expectations in mind, making sure that the wedding is the best event in town and everyone is having a great time. This is the value you're investing in, and this is why a professional wedding DJ costs so much. You're paying for the experience, the behind the scenes, and that everything in your wedding comes out right. There are no second chances in a wedding, so a highly experienced wedding DJ will treat your day and carry responsibility as if it was the Super Bowl. Now, Many couples that were interviewed after the wedding felt that hiring a professional wedding DJ was the most important decision that made their wedding successful, fun, and memorable. Now, I hope this answers the questions of why wedding DJs are so expensive, and I hope that during your research, you keep these tips in mind. Now, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to know when we post more tips, and hit the like button if you want more tips like this. See ya. I'm Javier from Talks Entertainment.